Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to live as long as possible in the dark ages of an extreme modded XCOM 2 Legendary Iron campaign. 90 plus mods uh, including double enemy squad size, yellow alert and a lot, a lot of new enemies. Today we are ready for a supply raid. It is end of October, so we're give and take six, six and a half months in. And uh, in Eastern Europe, Operation Spider Mother is happening. We're on the transition between mid game and end game. We've just met our first end game enemy. Uh, funnily enough, it was a Rift Keeper. Don't need that experience again, but we have a couple more unknown enemies and that can only mean new, meaner, better, and even darker enemies although the rift keeper definitely is like very much on top there i'm not sure what the strongest enemy is in here there are so many that are incredibly strong so if we're looking at uh, what we do have uh, in here the enemy group uh, we got a right control mech mutant commando um, elite collector assassin inquisitor specter advanced security bit which is a repair robot, mutant commandant, uh, and a vanguard. So a good, I would say, combination between biological and non-biological enemies. How many uh, LRM cores do we have? I wonder if it is just worth getting one different, different ammo. I think we can afford that. So that's one more AP rounds. Which isn't bad because that means for the non um, non electrical units, I think the AP rounds should do uh, just fine. Um, who would be the right person to take that? I'm almost contemplating giving it to Zirkim, but Zirkim shreds with his uh, with his shots. So having it on one of these guys would actually be good. Do we have a death from above? No, but we got a teamwork here, so that could work against... That could work against enemies with a lot of armor. We got another shredder here, which is great. So he does not need it. So it's either Implacable or Ataxia, by the way. Both of them are teammates. We're going in without a sniper because our snipers are all out of commission. Let's put AP rounds here on uh, the storm gun. And that should nicely, nicely go through armor and hopefully dish out a lot of damage. Good. That's pretty much it. It's going to be very difficult no matter how we're turning it. And let's hope the Chosen is not going to show up. Should have maybe gotten a few mind shields. Oh no, they were reserved for the for the prime team. Well, I gotta get more mind shields. If the warlock shows up. We gotta have the mind shields. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Okay, we landed, and this is one of those smash and grab missions, and it might be a quick smash and grab. And then maybe a quick let's get out of here. The patrol is coming. I go where you tell me. All right, what we want to do is we mainly just want to get a crate. There are a couple of them here. This mission runs a bit instable for full disclosure. Solid copy. I had to restart XCOM two times before it even loaded. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on, but yeah, it just doesn't look very good. Okay, there's a lot of full cover here.
Now, I suppose for now we're fine. We just don't want to trigger anything. Not right now. Alright, riot control Mac. Good, so let's just try to capture one crate and get uh, get as solidly positioned as possible. I think more than that is unrealistic. Damn it, there's a lot of movement. We know there are 38 uh, enemies here. So, gotta be a bit careful. My life is in your hands. Should have positions. I've spotted an alien patrol. And there's one explosion. Two if needed. Three. Or, yeah, we don't want to explode our own car. Okay, fair enough. Cool. So, we know that mech just wandered over there. Inappropriate Murphy. I think takes the middle ground here. Again, with mechs, we also don't want to cluster up too much. My experience is they tend to have micro missiles and then you're just eating a lot of AOE damage. All right, the moment that we're having a, a decent opening, we can just mark this crate and use Shadow's ability to, to simply move away. That control Mac almost begs for a remote start here. Okay, so the idea is we're going to remote start him and I'll prepare maybe a claymore here-ish so that we can hit whatever is next to the tower. They have a patrol moving here. All right, mutant commander. Okay, cool. Another search protocol. And another mech. Okay, is this going to hit him? No, barely not. Given that these guys are out of range. Okay, so they are right here, right? Can't fully hit them. But I could mark the supplies. Reaction. 
and just deal with the fact that we have encountered a few mechs and eliminate that mech here first and then kill whoever is coming our way. I think that's not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the remote start here wouldn't work, but yeah, you know what? Why not? It's going to reveal us. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. <laughs> what? He can directly react and start uh, stunning me? Thank you, yellow alert. Just thank you. Really, truly appreciate it. Good. Um, how about more healing? So we got that one overwatch there. How about attacks here? Just gives you an aid protocol. Good. Moving up with Roby. Can't really reach both of the mechs. Implacable moves over here. 50 50. Nope. Okay, wow. Well. Yeah, our shotguns are not really good. Zero came overwatches, and uh, I already mentioned Shadow would move back. Great, great. Some more enemies. I think we can disengage next turn. This here looks terrible. Wow. Three packs. We haven't even started. There is more. Do we have threat assessment? Yes. Okay. Might as well just give inappropriate Murphy threat assessment. That way he does have more defense and an overwatch. Well, it doesn't really matter, right? Does it? But we got great cover, but I can already see that we're fighting against a few hit points and the way that i've understood uh, the mods so far these guys are just going to come I'm over here. well i guess i can give it a try and see if we can at least land a couple of a uh, couple of hits Birch Trooper. All right.
Oh, look at you. That security bit can repair armor. That comes in handy, doesn't it? Okay, I think maybe it is an evacuation. Wow. All right, we got one crate. Yay! And people are not dead. Plus, we have only taken minor wounds. Cool. Let's see if we can get to the chopper. Move to here. We need something where the guys back there can can move as well. This here looks like an adequate zone. Don't get me wrong, i the first one who loves a long, drawn-out fight, but realistically, what am I supposed to do? Good, moving over here. Cool. Oh, we are on a suppression ourselves? Okay, cool. Didn't know, didn't check. But that most certainly makes sense. Alright, remote start it is. That should remove his suppression. Yep, very good. 90%. 50-50 to uh, remove his suppression. Didn't work. Unfortunate. Good. Let's just get that guy down. Anyone with loot? Nope. What's over there? Move him to here. We could give a taxi an extra attack. Very good. Hexia moves up, and Zirkim does the same, by the way. Let's try to get that heavy mech. Alright, unfortunately not a hair trigger. I wish we had one. Good, kill combo, cool. 
Lovely. Run gun, yes, and move over teamwork. That might be another kill. Okay, look, we went all out. There is one, two, three, four, five. And I know for a fact there were two additional ones still left over. Yes, we can fight, but the problem is this: uh, these guys here are dealing 10 points of damage each. So... I'm just not seeing how we can make a real dent in it. It's much better to take that one crate. And just leave it be. It's a successful mission. Might not be the most beautiful one. And I do understand 3 out of 35. It's not really something to write home about, but you know... What were we going to do? Would have maybe killed the two waves and then what? That's still only 10 out of 38 that are gone. And that's really not happening with the B team. I could have used, uh, I could have needed someone that has death from above and is able to reset. So for instance, if we had uh, say the dark lens uh, from the sniper and we could have dealt a lot of damage to the uh, to them on the front line. And then with uh, squad side, uh, I could have picked them off one by one. That's a different story. I think uh, that would be winnable. Uh, but not with lieutenants and captains. On the downside, that means we only got uh, like minor supplies, potentially 20. And 10 Alarium, 10, uh, 10 Alloys at best. Well, that's cool. A little bit better than expected. But yeah, that's what one crate gives you. And you always got to think like if we had done more crates the second one gives you about half of that and then there are diminishing returns all the way up to if you rescue all of the crates you get like 100 and a bit supplies in the grand scheme of things for risking really powerful soldiers that's not worth it could have farmed a little bit more xp but we would have risked uh, that uh, someone might have died yeah we are mediocre sure um we gotta find her um, her hideout uh, because she continues to train and if we could get a rashi and the shotgun combo that would be great we haven't even started to really uh, find him, but having one of them defeated is great, really good. Abogate, that is the one that we need to counter uh, because effectively it ends the game. Thunder Mountain, wasn't sure that sucked as well. I think it was immunity, something, th uh, something. Go with experimental weapon immediately finished. You know, why not? Let's try that. Uh, we wanted to do some war suits, anyways. This is sabotage, fantastic. And we just got a lot of supplies. Very soon, uh, that beam cannon should be ready, and we got some intel, but we definitely need more because we need to make contact and and then essentially invade. 
Incinerary Bomb is cool and Venom Rounds isn't bad either. I think Venom Rounds we could upgrade. Ah, I can do that later. But yeah, we could upgrade Venom Rounds if I'm not mistaken. That's actually a good find. Intel would be okay. Also research for Intel. But for now, let's just farm for Intel. We need 80. And use our research in order to actually get weapon upgrades. No more delays. Defense facility now operational. Good, that's super important. And can we upgrade it? Yes, quarters, thank you. Putting a engineer right an engineer right in there so defense metrics great just an overall great building i mean super underrated but if you play a hard campaign these four turrets that's eight shots for 200 uh, for uh, 200 supplies it's just really really good Okay, need to get more intel. And cool, look at that. Detected. Master ghosts, 20 of them. We are only like, what, 23 minutes in? And you guys deserve a real episode. So how about we are doing the resistance uh, operations here cannot ignore and launch i suppose it's not getting any better than that so let's jump into it and see what we can do Raider Phantoms. Recover material from the Raiders. I'm still not sure what we're dealing with. Like, that's 20 enemies, okay? Okay. Let me get a team together. Good. Since we don't know what we're fighting against, 20 enemies, that should be fine. I will bring Shadow and kind of a B-team collection. Russ uh, works uh, together with Slicinator. Um, we got Inappropriate Murphy here, who, if my memory serves me well, can also shred. Yep, so that's our second shredder. Inappropriate Murphy and Slicinator. And yeah, we put en uh, Roby in here because Murphy and Roby are a team nowadays. And Endors for good measure. A lot of blue screen rounds and uh, some recently upgraded Viper rounds for Russ. So that should be good. Russ is the death from above guy. So sounds like a, uh, sounds like an interesting mission. I have no idea what's going to await us, but uh, that is kind of a do or die mission because we couldn't really skip it. All right, so we landed and I just found out, look at that, we got more soldiers than our bar can even hold. So the four that were on that extraction plus six are now invading together as 10. It's still a very difficult mission according to the mission logs, but boy, oh boy, that is great. I love it. Lyrical moves up. We saw a few, we saw a f uh, kind of a few uh, focuses of the camera when the mission started going off so i can only assume that we're likely going to fight against like reapers of some sort <laughs> oh well we would kill ourselves here well, for starters, I should have been in shadow, but 
All right, okay. Hogbite oh, cannot charge in far enough. Well, I think that is where our skirmisher can come in. Inquisitor takes the high road. Moving up. Nicely revealing even more of these guys. Holy shit. Oh, it's a whole factory of them. Good. Let's just power up Hogbite for now. Good, so we do have two. We do have two um, focus, that's good. Lyrical moves up. All right, cool. Moving up with Shinrod. Very good. So far, so good. I mean, they don't have a lot of hit points compared to all of the other enemies that we've seen so far. This here is absolutely not a problem. On the other hand, we don't know for how much they can crit, so we should be careful and humble, as always. Well. Lots and lots of enemies right there. Slicinator moves up. And, oh, that's a triplet. Oh yeah, not even a question. <laughs> okay, easy. Easy. Let's go. Andorus moves up. Inappropriate Murphy moves up. Yeah, I didn't get it. Not 100% sure why we wouldn't be able to see these two guys in the middle here. Strange. Okay. Roby moves up, and that's not a really good hit. Well, that's good, implacable. Moves up further. Good, we're parrying. Now let's just try to get this guy down. Shot 
All right, Overwatch and kill. Okay, we need to definitely re-stealth with uh, Shadow next turn. But from most of the ghosts, uh, we are actually seeing that. Oh, clever! That's, that wasn't bad. From most of the ghosts, we're actually seeing uh, that they are dem uh, dying incredibly fast. Oh, look at you. Alright, interesting, definitely interesting set of enemies. A little bit low on hit points uh, for my taste. But I think they're, it's, it's one of the power in numbers type of uh, enemies. So we should just take solid cover and then we should be fine. Good, so first things first. Um, let's get ready, uh, ready uh, um, rid of uh, Roby's condition. And equally, Ross could use some healing. Okay, cool. Good, running and gunning. Nice one. We got implacable and untouchable, which is great. Inquisitor will act soon. For now, let's just stay where we are. This will trigger at least one overwatch shot. Okay, not happening. Also good. Good for me. Slicinator tries to hit multiples. Good. Next up, hog bite. And really, what we can do is just get that guy down. Fantastic. All right, moving into shadow. That gives us the actual shadow ability.
which in return should allow us to explode a couple of things, but none of which there are actual enemies currently standing. Okay, I need some more healing. Russ would be perfect because Russ is essentially using death from above. Or could be using death from above, so we need to get him on the high ground. Uh, that way he uh, he could start killing all of them. It will take two turns though to get him where he should be. Uh, as for our sniper, I would like to take a full cover over here and ors. We know that there is an enemy standing right behind here. But we're moving right there. That's two blade storms. Good, that's one down. Moving into cover. And that should be another kill. Very good. All right, Shinrod. Um, moves up. Lyrico moves up here. Hogba just parries for now. And next turn Shadow will move in deeper for now. We're just standing here. In the hopes of not getting spotted out. There's the Bladestorm. Oh boy. Alright, we're shielded, so all good. There's the blades. Another miss. Holy. Cool. Another group of them is coming a bit closer, and we're slowly but surely moving in their direction. Uh, Inquisitor, for some reason, always takes a lot of shots. The mission so far plays well, it's just for whatever reason Inquisitor seems to be the main target. Inappropriate Murphy is turned into a complete heal bot, but okay, fair enough. Not sure if they were hiding behind that. This might kill someone. We can't really fully see them. Okay, answer is no, they did not hide there. Shinrod moves over. <laughs> and, and fails to hit the guy. Well, the beauty of uh, the beauty of a squaddy, right? I think I'm going with uh, kill zone here. Russ moves up. Has death from above from up here. Over here. 
Good. Hogbird is leading the charge. Lyrical, I'm trying to get some kills on the squad. Some kills on the squaddies because that is an easy mission here. Good, Russ moves up. Robbie moving over. Very nice. Shotgun is unfortunately empty now. But we can still do implacable. Uh, you know what? Reload Overwatch. Slicinator moves up. And instead of Kill zoning, let's just get the high ground and then kill zone next round. Better uh, shooting angles, just way better uh, open space. And I'm pretty sure none of them will abuse the fact that we're not in cover. All right, so this is just turning into a protect the device mission. Okay, fair enough. Really? Oh boy. And then of course they fell on top of one another. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a really good maneuver. Untouchable, baby. Yeah, but... Unfortunately, not untouchable against uh, the explosion. All right, we messed up our high ground. Lyrica. Has found a couple more Reapers. Good. Um, let's kill this guy and pretend for a second. Very good. Pretend for a second that we're really afraid of him. Good, moving up. I want the guys inside. Good. Two for the price of one. Hogbite has uh, breached the enemy compound. Still think we should do... I still think we should do our uh, kill zone. Wow, Inquisitor really took a lot of damage this turn. Soon our prey will fall. 
Good, not the most elegant way of solving it, but one that uh, results in a 100% kill. Oh wow, and we destroyed loot. Well, that was indeed not very elegant, Saiken. Moving up with Shinrod, let's see. 20%, no, it's not great. Good. Slicinator moves up. Russ begins to heal. And we really need to get into cover. Alright, Slicinator tries for once to not get completely abused. Good, we got that one guy over here. Untouchable. <laughs> okay, well, that remote fuse is nasty, but we got a nice little kill zone here. Eliminate all hostiles. Okay, not sure if I fu uh, fully understand. Eliminate all hostiles, yes. Recover material from the container. Okay, cool, yeah, we can do that, no problem. All right, we're charging over. And I think we need some form of scouting. Let's take Shadow for that. Repositioning. We're moving into full cover with a sniper. Overwatch with Lyrical. And I mean, Hawkbite also just tries to move in. Wow, Inquisitor really took a lot of damage. That guy ate five heals throughout the mission. Russ reloads and Inquisitor overwatches. No, no clue where the enemies could hide.
Okay, interestingly enough, there there isn't much that we can find over here. Step it off. Murphy moves over. Good, we're going for full cover. Again, I still don't fully know which direction we're actually fighting against. I would love to have Roth uh, here on high ground. This is very far away. Reloading. Overwatch. 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 Double move. Okay, cool. <laughs> he just almost killed himself. Funny. Okay, they seem to be attacking again, which means we definitely need to get in there. The mission, mission objective is a bit unclear, like not majorly unclear, but definitely enough to make it uncomfortable here. Okay, someone has an action that he can give to uh, give over to. Okay, very good. Inappropriate Murphy opens the chest. Radar material, cool. Now it is simply kill all hostiles, right? Moving with Implacable. Okbaid tries to move in. Now, let's just parry for now. We're good. Still can't hit anyone with a sniper. We're too far away. Which means we really need to start moving in. Making it more difficult to hit Hogbite. Longwatch and inappropriate Murphy. Would get an 8 protocol, like a threat assessment to Slicey Nature. Oh, that's another Overwatch right there. Oh wow, we do have such a movement, look at that. Top, 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 top. And we're going 
to here. I don't know if uh, there will be additional enemies from this side of the map. It's not so much the difficulty of this mission, it's more just the confusion about where things are happening. Generally on, uh, on uh, good map design kind of allows you from the get-go to understand at least what's happening. And it shows in here unfortunately that this is a custom map, uh, not because it's, it's bad, I think the mission itself is fun, but it's just a lot a lot going on at the same time it's very confusing all right good so this hopefully ends this whole shenanigans here Nice. Okay, not really a very difficult map. It's just a lot of enemies that we needed to deal with. And um, I I didn't know the uh, Reaper's abilities, but apparently they have some sort of a semi-invisibility, which you can spot out. I wonder if something like a, um, like a battle scanner would have been a good investment here. And... Yeah, they are not really they are not really tanky, they are actually quite fragile. However, they can appear somewhere in the open and then uh, just take a uh, critical hit shot with their vector rifles. So that in itself the damage output is nasty and they also seem to have remote start. So apparently the enemy is doing that. Now what I don't know is um if they are acting whilst they are invisible and how the invisibility functions in detail, it looks a lot like they are tr just trying to attack. So Alright, cool. So, Enders. Leveled up. Um, we are taking steady hands and he is really a major now. Roby. Oh, we didn't even have Untouchable. Oh, I went in assuming we had Untouchable, what we never did. Bladestorm and Placable Untouchable, that's a fantastic combination. Good job, man. Raider Material and a lot of Intel. Good job. That was fun, guys. Uh, it was not a difficult mission, but it was overall the Raider faction is well designed. So if you look for an additional faction that you want to add to spice up one of your, uh, your playthroughs, I think that's the right uh, thing to do. Uh, I don't need that right now. Wow, quadruple promotions. Cool. All right, so... Wow, we got a lot of uh, stuff. Let's see. Recruit Engineer and Dodge plus 9. That is great. I want to do that. Not for the Engineer, but Dodge plus 9 is great. Superior PCS. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 that one is good. That one is fantastic. I think we're going to go for a double agent. Because the enemies have so many busted, absolutely busted advent troops. Imagine we get a Custodian. <laughs> That would be so good. Like we're we're having we're literally having a tank. Um, Sixty hit points, ten armor. Just going there with uh, twenty damage shotgun. Uh, you remember Carlos, uh, the double agent? I can tell you what Carlos took some steroids. That's a good one. I like it. Uh, scientists, okay. Should do that at some point uh, in order to uh, get uh, more. Aim plus four is good. Nine days is also short and ability points are needed. Uh, not bad. Uh, noble course is okay. I think this here would be good. Getting the chosen off the battlefield actually would help us quite a bit. Ah, that one is fantastic. Yeah, I think we need to get the two resistance orders. Because uh, mm, Resistance Network is insanely good. Uh, and the double agent in this particular playthrough is potentially also not bad. 
Promotions would be cool, but not needed now. Oh, that's a great reward. So... I think we start with this here. And it's actually a good idea to let someone of those low some of those lobbies run those missions because that's a chance for them to get promoted. Right? So first things first, who can you team up with? Uh soldier bonds? Oh look at that, Chinrod, they like each other. Hell yeah. You both joined as uh, squaddies. And might as well do that. Blade Master, you are now corporal. Good job. That mission was helpful. We're getting we're getting the less played soldiers up. Shinrod, medical protocol, yes please. And Inquisitor. Promote the soldier. Alright, what do we have? Whiplash, great skill. I would love to do that. Return Fire, fantastic skill. I would love to do that as well because it allows us to um, build one of uh, the more broken builds um, where we're essentially just using him as a tank. I don't think that that will work in this run because frankly, the enemies just deal too much damage. In normal Legendary, you can do a Return Fire build um, where you just use him as a tank just stack as much armor as you can, uh, as much dodge as you can, and then uh, solo move in. Pull as many enemies as, as you can and have two specialists rotate a protocol, hunker down, and all of them will eventually shoot him um, and he will always return uh, fire. So you get a lot of shots out of it. Is it great? Nah, they are better. Uh, they are better strategies, but it is like one of those cheesy strategies. If you don't know how to beat Le legendary Iron Man, uh, that strategy might be able to carry you through. Problem with it is you're running into uh, timer issues, and the ball pup is not a really good weapon in the end game. It really didn't scale super well. It, their scaling was built around the ability to shoot twice. And Phyrexis uh, forgot that other uh, classes with Chain Shot and um, Death from Above, Serial and um, Rapid Shot also can shoot twice. So the Bulbub really had too little love uh, going for them. Um, I am thinking about actually Zero In plus Whiplash. Sounds a bit uh, standard, basic bitch uh, um, uh, type of uh, basic bitch type of uh, skilling. But it is not bad. I like it. Uh, this year will allow us to regularly hit. So I'm a big fan of it right away. Return fire. Okay. You can do that. It's not bad. It's actually it's decent. Uh, together with reflex. It's actually really decent. But whiplash is a free action. And free actions are king. I'm even willing to spend one um, ability point for that. And you're now a lieutenant. Good job. And finally hogbite. Uh, so... Uh, soldier bonds bubble now I still don't want that uh, soldier bond and let's promote Ooh, ooh! do you see what I am seeing I wanted to showcase a hog bite that has no blade storm to uh, to show you guys the Templars don't suck without blade storm but the game sort of wants to give me blade storm so might as well can't not click it oh oops it happened yeah that's pretty good that is pretty good um ionic storm great for cleanup void conduit might be good a humanoid in a prison immobilizing them and transferring health so that could be good against custodians and others for crowd control and ghost is a fantastic ability as well all of the abilities are good. That's the problem. The Templar has too many good abilities. Yeah, we're taking Ghost just because it's a very versatile ability. Um, and then potentially, uh, we, we can't take Ionic Storm. Realistically speaking, 25 points are better to be taken on others. Um, That one isn't bad. 
so the enemy one, um, the XCOM exchange isn't bad either. Yeah, but we only have so many. We only have so many abilities at this point. Fantastic, Hogbite. You are great. As per the usual, I can already see the comments uh, down. Hogbite's going to carry the run. No, 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 guys. Uh, no one is going to carry this run. This run is going to end in utter disaster, but we will have some more fun until then. So, double agent uh, plus five will. I think that is a perfect option for Lyrical, who looks like someone who wants extra willpower, and Wilson, who is a accompanying her. Uh, we're certainly not preventing the wounding. 25 intel is too uh, worth too much. So those two are going on that extra mission. Five days. Oh yeah, we can we can do a couple of uh, ten days. We can do a couple of missions. Let's do that mission and then the next one. So two great new um, orders. Oh, that is good. I love what I'm seeing. All right. I forgot one thing. I saw negative traits. Okay, but apparently whoever received them is currently injured, so can't remove it. Uh, we got Alois and Delirium, a lot of both of them. And I think what we want to do is make contact. Yes, please. Because we need to offset the Avatar project. Yes, Lily, we know. Thank you for letting us uh, know that. Oh, great. Very, very good. So, beam cannons. Modular sniper rifles. Who would have thought? Um, that means add another upgrade slot to all the sniper rifles. So we could get... Um, a sniper rifle with expanded mega superior expanded magazine superior scope and what would i put uh, in there as well potentially superior autoloader uh, that would be giving us the opportunity to use kill zone really really well so yeah we're going to go for that another 10 days down the drain I want to do the hunter weapon. Uh, and by the way, did we have... Yeah, plasma lens, archon autopsy. Oh no. <sighs> okay, well, we need more. We need more scientists. I am contemplating... Is it worth... Seriously, no. Is it worth building a laboratory? We need we need to be faster with all of the research. Hello, Commander. All right, beam cannons. Yeah, that's great. Full pop still can't be upgraded. Uh, skirmishers do not get enough love. We leave it uh, with that, but. I am wondering, laboratory, 100 more income. I could see a line of argumentation where a laboratory would be the right play here, guys, because we are struggling with research and I would need to upgrade it. I think the laboratory would essentially give us two more scientists and we would, we would, we would uh, research faster. So if we can get money, laboratory might be the right uh, the right play. Good, we got training completed, bond level three. Freeze up the next bond team. Still can't remove negatives. Okay, cool. And I think we could get another for 125. We could get another 
um, resistance order, which might be worth it. So we definitely need the money. And the problem is all of our money just went into equipment upgrades. So it will be a nice change of pace when we finally can spend some money for stuff left and right, you know? Phantoms are operating. Proceed with caution. Okay. Engineer. And quite a bit of intel. We don't really don't need an engineer, but okay. Viper, purifier, elite collector assassin, lancer, elite officer, biomech troop, hunter drone, uh, drone, perch commando, perch sectoid, and an unknown enemy. This is the perfect setup for uh, one of those, you know... Um, one of those new mechs that uh, can also deep clone your squad. Uh, so I don't know. That might be. That might be. That might be it. Hmm. Yeah, I need to think about it. Um, how we're how we're dealing with it. So this is a rescue mission and. I don't know if we should send the prime team, potentially not. The research is what um, concerns me the most. Uh, due to the side goals, we don't have like an unlimited amount of time. Um, but where would we go anyways? It's not like we, we would gain anything from the golden path because, um, yeah, that, I, I don't see how we're, how we're making it into the end game. I could try to rush to Waterworld. But in Waterworld, you would get all of the different enemy types and with suboptimal equipment, uh, that would be a very short mission. And the task is to survive as long as possible. Granted that we're very likely not going to be able to finish uh, the mission. So just Hail Marying yourself into Waterworld and then finding out that there are five Omega Berserkers that are just charging into you. Um, accompanied by custodians isn't really the right play so uh, i need to think about how we're dealing with it for now that is it guys and uh, if you like the xcom double agent and want to see carlo coming back then carlo had asked me to um, tell you that you need to click the like button that's the secret uh, xcom double agent message thank you and see you in two days bye bye